Okay, what you're looking at is an Asus P5ND motherboard and an Intel Core 2 Quad Q6600 CPU. What you're going to notice on this new motherboard is that we have a CPU guard and that needs to be removed before the CPU can be replaced. There's a lever on the side, the lever simply lifts up and once the lever is lifted, the plastic protector piece just simply pulls out. After the plastic piece is removed, basically the motherboard is ready for a new CPU installation. And you can see the empty socket is ready for the new CPU. Okay, this CPU socket is now ready for installation. Uh, this particular socket is an LGA775 pin set. And we're ready to replace the CPU. Okay, what you're going to notice on this particular socket is that uh, there's two notches and there's also two notches on the CPU. The CPU only goes in one way and you have to be careful to make sure that you have it properly aligned. Once you have it over the CPU socket, simply drop it straight down into place. It's really important to be careful when putting the CPU in. It should smoothly go into the socket. Be careful not to bend any of the pins, and then once it's in place, push the lever back down to the motherboard, which secures it and fastens the CPU to the socket. After the CPU is in the socket, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the cooling fan. The first step to replacing this fan is we're going to put a small BB size dot of thermal grease right in the center of the CPU. Be careful not to get any of the grease on any of the other components of this motherboard. The last step to replacing the CPU is we're going to reinstall the cooling fan to the CPU. All CPUs need a cooling fan. And once the CPU fan is installed, the motherboard is ready for installation into a fresh machine. What we're going to do is we're going to do another CPU installation on a different type of motherboard. Um, all the sockets vary. And you're going to see once we unpack this one, this is a AM3 style 940 pin socket and we're going to put in an AMD Phenom 2 times 2 550 CPU. This is a two pin socket. This socket is going to be a little bit different. Uh, whereas the other one had two slot alignment, this one has an arrow alignment. And that arrow on the socket is going to match up to the arrow onto the CPU, showing you which way you go. Again, you're going to release the lever, the CPU lever, and align the arrow up with the arrow on the CPU socket. As I mentioned, there's the arrow. You can see it down in the corner there. That arrow lines up exactly with the arrow onto the CPU socket. Take the CPU and hold it directly over the CPU socket. Align it up and drop it straight down into the socket. We'll go over it one more time. Align the arrow. Hold it over. You don't have to push it in place and just drop it straight down and refasten the lever, the CPU is installed. Once the CPU is in the socket, we're going to reinstall the cooling fan as we did earlier on the other motherboard. Small BB size dot of thermal grease right in the center. Again, be careful not to get any of the grease on any of these components on this motherboard. Line the fan up with the CPU. Drop it straight down, twist it a little bit, and refasten the fan. After we properly align the CPU fan and secure it to the CPU, this motherboard is ready for installation into a fresh new case. That's another installation video, how to XLCS Computer Solutions.